Hello. All right. So I'm a furniture designer, business owner, recent graduate, and a proud uncle, which I'm going to touch on every one of those. Um, I guess I probably got about 10 seconds there. goes pretty quick. It's rambling. So this is my company, Holtz and Metal Design, and I um, uh, design and uh, produce furniture out of Toronto. I also do some consultancy work. Um, Holt is a middle name of mine. Holtz is um, a metal, or sorry, wood in German, and uh, metal is obviously metal. And I love joining wood and metal together. I love it. So here's a, a project. Uh, these are some chairs uh, that I've done some reclaimed uh, post bags, circa 1920. Um, so I do some reuse. Sustainability is part of my language and design. Um, these were sold at Style Garage. I made, did about a limited, a limited run of these for, for about 50. This is Il Regno Italiano, and I love names. I love naming my work. Uh, sometimes it's a little pretentious uh, and verbose, but I just love it, and I can't help it. Um, this is uh, flat-packed. Uh, I really like how the, the center glass there is cantilevered. Um, yeah, so I'm also thinking about systems. Um, and speaking of systems, this is a chair that's called Is Lounger Ideal Source. Source, source, source. And we'd get a bunch of wood from backyards where they'd get chopped up in small pieces, and people were using them for firewood. So we'd actually take down fences and take cranes to get this wood so we could use it, kill dry it, and make it into furniture. This is uh, Elliot Brood. Has anybody heard of Elliot Brood? Yeah? One guy? All right, good enough. Juno-nominated band friends of mine, and I made this fold-down chair for them. This is really uh, the epitome, I think, of Holtz and metal. And this is uh, the fusion of metal. Um, and the whole thing knocks down. I got uh, the next slides, uh, really how I articulated all these joints. And this is really where I just... I Better than sex, if I may. The... Uh, just all this, this brass and cherry wood and, and, and thinking and thinking and thinking of how I can uh, uh, knock down a chair uh, no way anybody else has ever done uh, before and make it still look like a normal chair. Um, I've also done some lighting. So this is just a, a white oak wrap, uh, stainless steel. Um, yeah, with some bulbs just kind of poking out, kind of a modern... Uh, Scandinavian. I studied in uh, Scandinavia, so it's uh, it's ingrained in me. I do have a little bit Danish in me. Uh, we, we have a bunch in us, as Henry was saying. Uh, this is uh, uh, what I call current. Sit on that. Just sit on that. Current. So... <laughs> So um, I steamed. This was I put about 300 hours. This was my final project shared in college. Um, shoot. So this is... Uh, this is called tangent. <laughs> Bear with me. I, I do like the name of it. But this is down at the music club uh, in the uh, CNE Fairgrounds. This was one of the first big commissions I got right out of school. Uh, my friend Gabe in the back there really helped me out with it. Uh, it was hell. We did about 12 of these tables, and it was hell. Um, this is, I did the Gladstone Hotel, uh, come up to my room. And this is something where, I, is Henry still here tonight? Henry, the ad exec, he's out, eh? Oh, no, hey, there you are. So this is, I'd like to work with you, sir. So this is something, <laughs> communication, perfect intermission. I was going to just sit here and do nothing, but I'm going to talk to Henry about on this one, is, is f fusing furniture with communication. The idea of that was to give furniture a voice, as best as I can say for, for that right now. Sorry to single you out, Henry. Intermission. So now the second part is I just, I'm a recent grad and I did a master's in industrial design at Carleton, PM, shout out. No, he's out using the phone. He's another Carleton grad. Um, great school. Uh, MDES program is, is somewhat new. Um, and, and it was uh, a hell of a process because you go from designing, drawing, and making things to uh, uh, writing 100 pages and researching and reading like crazy. It's uh, something else. So this is my, my title, Biology as a Muse, Exploring the Nature of Biological Information and Its Effect on Inspiration for Industrial Designers. I 
created a toolkit um, to help designers, to help all of us find inspiration. This toolkit could have been a uh, music toolkit. I, I chose biology. So we're, we're searching from source uh, to source biological information. Everybody knows biomimicry. I was right in the thick of it for two years. So what I had done is compared analogies um, using a f furniture design and um, and uh, uh, biological analogies. I had a 3D. It's it's so hard to get through this right now. The, I had a 3D uh, toolkit and a 2D toolkit, and I compared what how the designers were inspired. Difference from the 2D, the acad uh, the academic and the experiential. What it turned out is that the uh, yeah, yeah quick on that is uh, the the designers were really inspired by it. It was a toolkit that very, people were very excited about. Biology is a muse, and we know that, but we have to package it. We have to properly package it to get people to use it. Right. So now, right now, I'm working on a, a, a software interface um, for designers to use that we can export to schools. Um, I'm going to just skip over this. This there was a, a poem that I wanted to read, but Shakespeare and biomimicry equals awesome. Um, <laughs> This, so I worked really hard, and it was really hard for me to get through the MDES program. This is my crowning achievement, I think. And they did a, a piece in the Ottawa Magazine, and i got to say two things about this. is They had me take my shoes off, and I'm wearing the shoes that I was wearing. They didn't like the bottom of my feet, the pattern. They're not designers. Now, and I also had a mustache. This is Owen, the new uncle part. I want Andrew Worsman, I'm new uncle. And this is my friend Martin, it's his birthday. And can we sing happy birthday for him? Happy, happy birthday to you. Happy stand up day to you. Happy birthday, dear Martin. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 